things that you've got to learn in Y3 is to learn how to tell the time using a Roman numeral clock. So we're going to have a go at that next lesson, but this lesson we're just going to have a look at um, Roman numerals because really you need to be able to recognise the Roman numerals from 1 to 12 because they're the numbers that are on a clock. Okay, so Roman numerals, they're just like normal numbers but um, they look a little bit different, okay? And we don't really use Roman numerals very much anymore, do we? But they are still on clocks, okay? So we need to, we need to understand what they mean, right? So there's three that I'm gonna start off with. Um, we're gonna learn three different symbols today. And so we're gonna learn what the number five is in Roman numerals, what the number 10 is, and what the number one is. And then all the other numbers will fit around those three numbers, okay? These are our key numbers. The number one is quite helpful because it kind of looks like a number one anyway. Number one is represented with an I. So the number one in Roman numerals is just an I, one I. Number five is a V. Okay, it's almost like a secret code, isn't it? So number one is I, number five is a V, number 10 is an X. Okay, so all the other numbers can be a bit tricky, but if you know the rule, if you understand this rule that I'm gonna tell you in a minute, that will help you, okay. So if we do number two, so if one I is one, what do you think the number two is going to be in Roman numerals? So it's going to be two I's next to each other like that, I, I. The number three is three I's, but this is where it gets interesting. So we need to be really careful not to make a mistake here. The number four, is not four eyes, and I'm gonna tell you why. This is a really, really important rule. So this is a, a, Ro a Roman numeral rule here, look. The rule is you can't have th more than three in a row. You can't have more than the same one repeated three times. So I'll show you how it works then. So the rule is, no more than three in a row, okay? No more than three. So number four isn't gonna be I, 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 I. Look what happens. So let's jump to number five. Number five is V. So number four is I, V. And I'm going to explain why. So number five is V. This means one before five. So it's like five take away one. It's one before. So five take away one is four, okay? So the number four in Roman numerals is IV. If the I comes after the V, it means you're adding. So five add one, so that's gonna be the number six. The number seven is going to be V, I, I, five, six, seven. Can you think what the number eight is going to be? V for five, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. Okay, the number nine is not going to be this then, is it? because that breaks the rules. Our rule is you can only have three of the same symbol in a row. So here, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That doesn't work because you've got four eyes in a row, okay? So if you look at the number four, here, look, we had one before five. One before five, I, V, one before five, okay? which is the number four. So with our number nine, if you have a look at 10, we've got X. So for number nine, we're gonna have one before 10. One before 10 would be 
I X. For number 11, number 11, if you look at number 6, you might be able to figure out what number 11 will be. Number 11 will be X I because it's 1 after 10. So 10, 11. Number 12 would be X I I. X I I. So Y3. I've taught you these, you can use these three main symbols that I've taught you here, these three letters, to do all of the numbers from 1 to 12 in Roman numerals. You're only using these three, the I, the V and the X. And if you remember that this really important rule, um, that's really going to help you. So no more than three in a row. So you know that four can't be four eyes. Instead, it's one before five. And number nine is one before ten. I think four and nine are the trickiest ones. All the rest are not too bad. So I, if I were you, I would practice these two and really get that rule stuck in your head. Okay, have a go at the worksheets. Um, watch this video again if you found it a bit tricky, okay? Um, keep practicing Y3 and next time we're going to have a go at practicing learning to tell the time on an analog clock using Roman numerals.